Okay. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can read list of strings using for loop in Bash. You can use for loop for various purpose uh, in Bash programming. But when uh, we read any string value or array of strings, then uh, long text or multiple word string cannot be iterated properly. So this tutorial will help you to solve this problem. First of all, uh, the first example uh, is shown that uh, there is um, uh, a simple string value I like programming. I like uh, programming is a string of multiple words and there are two spaces. So if I use for loop to read this string and print the value, then it will split the string into three parts based on the space. So I will run this code from a bash file. And uh, the file name is for one dot sh. You can see the output is I like programming. And uh, the code is here. Okay. And this is the code in the code folder I like programming. And this is the output. In the next example, I drew a string uh, variable, a string variable using for loop. This example is similar to the previous example, where just the string value is stored in a variable a string van. So if I run the code, the output will be welcome to linear scene. And this is also split into three parts. In the next example, I create an array of string values. And uh, here, string array variable, array variable is declared, and uh, five string values are stored here. And, uh, and two of them are string of multiple words. And if I run this code in the similar way in for loop and the previous two examples are just a string or a string variable and this is a string array so it is written like this and uh, the output is uh, like before and the string is split here Linux read is split in two parts Red Hat Linux is split in three parts so um, if I run the code, the output is uh, output will be look like this. Now, how to solve these problems of <coughs> space? For this, I uh, take the example four. Uh, here, just enclose the uh, array variable with double quotation and it will solve the problem of splitting. Now, uh, the string array is an uh, array of uh, five elements where each element contains multiple word string. So, if I run this code list four, then you can see no uh, multiple word string value is split here and now go for the example 5 uh, in previous two example uh, the array is uh, read by for loop in this way using add symbol you can also use a star symbol here to read the list of string example 5 in example 5 this is shown here uh, everything is same here, just here star symbol is used to iterate the array uh, and uh, 
the difference between these two verse is here the vocation is not used and here the vocation is used and for using double quotation all array value will be printed in a single line and for not using double quotation array element will be treated as a single element if we run the command now you can see when quotation is not used every element is printed in new line and when quotation is used all elements are printed in a single line uh, in the similar way we can check you can check the other example of this tutorial the tutorial link is given in my description box thank you for watching